Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Rebels TV once again, the 25th time for the year. And it's the penultimate show for the year, part of if I'm allowed to use big words on Rebels TV. Our second last one for the year, heading in to the final round of TAC Cup footy this weekend. Sean Kelly's my name, joining me as he does every week, my co-host and AFL Victoria talent manager, Phil Partington Pardo. Nice to be back in the studio. It's good to be back, Sean. Unfortunately, a great result for the Rebels on the weekend. Bit of a hard game, a bit of a spiteful mm. game we found on the weekend, Sean. So a few reports may come out of that game, but uh, credit to the Colder Cannons, they played a great brand of footy and our uh, boys just couldn't continue with a, a good four-quarter effort again. Yeah, scores on the screen at the moment, of course. Our game up against the Calder Cannons here at Mars Stadium. And for three quarters we hung with them. There was a point the difference at half time. There was three points the difference at three-quarter time at the last quarter. Just some injuries, some unavailabilities on the bench and a, a, a cannon side that were able to run out four quarters as well made a bit of a difference, Pardo, in the end. Yeah, it certainly was. We didn't use the ball that too well, Sean. I thought his disposal was down again. And uh, too many turnovers. When you turn the footy over, Sean, yeah, mm. the, the goals go pretty easy the other, the other way, so uh, credit to the Colorado Cannons. Yeah, full credit to the Cannons. One and one against the Cannons this year, and we'll see them again on Anzac Day next year, or the Anzac weekend, as close as we can to it. Pretty good game by some of our players, though. Jordan Johnston in another game in the midfield. Just keeps improving and improving every week, and he's starting to become a fully-fledged midfielder now. Yeah, we're trying to drive him through there to show his running capabilities to the AFL clubs, and he's doing a great job. He's very, very strong through the core and got a fair set of hands on him too, Sean, but uh, he's improving each week. But uh, what about the skipper? The yeah. skipper played a fantastic game. You know, 43 possessions, I think he got uh, at the end of the day. Uh, occasionally turned the footy over by a foot. He's working on that really well, but his, his inside work with his hands was outstanding. It was indeed, and no, no surprise at all then that Cal Wellings, our skipper, was our Mars player of the day from our Round 17 game against the Calder Cannons. So we caught up with him after the game. Let's have a listen to Cal Wellings, our Mars player of the day. We're here with our Mars player of the day, Callum Wellings. Skipper, tough loss. Obviously a game that we were right in it for three quarters. The last quarter, the wind, a few rotations, and the Cannons just getting away from us a little bit. Yeah, um, I'd say we were in it probably till the last 10 minutes of the game. We held it up to them really all day, both on the inside and outside, and we matched it. We matched it with them for probably three and a half quarters, I felt, but a couple of late goals, we probably lost our structure a bit, and they just they took the points at the end of the day, so yeah, disappointing. Fairly fiery kind of game, a little bit happening throughout the game as well, very physical. Did you, did you find that that way as well? Looked like it from the stands? Yeah, we pride ourselves on our contested footy and our clearance work, which has been great lately, so they wanted to take it, take it up to us with their body and aggression, and we, we took it right back to them, and for three and a half quarters, as I said, we, we matched it, and if not beat them in that area, and then in the end, they sort of got on top of us in that aggression as they just held it for longer. From your personal point of view today, numbers-wise, probably your standout game for the season. According to our stat sheet, 43 disposals and just got a heck of a lot of it throughout the day. Yeah, it's just the ball seemed to follow me around a bit. And um, no, it was good to, you know, for myself, but obviously disappointing that you know, we couldn't translate it into a winning performance. And got on the scoreboard as well, a nice goal in the third quarter to get us going. Yeah, it was something I've been working on, those shots on the run and... Lucky uh, Scotty Carling dished it out to me and just uh, the wind, wind did the rest. One more game to go. Back here at Mars Stadium next week against Bendigo. An early game on a Saturday morning. What's the, what do you think the build-up will be like during the week? Are you, you going to try and put the boys on this one that this is our grand final? Yeah, it's going to be sort of a bittersweet feeling as half the boys won't get to play under the Rebels brand again. But um, So it is sort of a grand final for us and we definitely want to finish our season with a win. So, yeah, it's going to be an exciting but also disappointing time in the next week as, as we only have four quarters of footy left for the 2017 Rebels group. But you'll keep going after that as well, obviously, with State Combine coming up. Keep that fitness up after round 18. Yeah, so we have a few boys going to the Combines and that, so probably take a couple of days off and just let the body rest a little bit and then straight back into preparation for the Combine in early October. Well, Cal, congratulations on your game today, our Mars player of the day. Good luck against the Pioneers on the weekend. Cheers, Sean. Cal Wellings, our Mars player of the day for round 17. As you mentioned before, Pardo, 43 disposals on the day. Hit the nice goal as well and really coming good as the season comes to an end. He's been in great form for most of the year, so, uh, you know, I dare say your poll fairly well in our best and fairest, Sean. Mm -hmm. He did last year as well, and Tipping he'll do the same again this year. Inside 60 time, 
Thanks to Blue Gum Clothing, and an interesting one this week because it's a boy that came into our program during 2017, so wasn't there from the start, but has since solidified his place in the team with a very consistent and very hard-working approach, Tom Morrish. Shy kind of guy, though, so it's going to be interesting to see how he goes in front of the camera. It will be interesting, sure. No, uh, good to see Tom. Oh, and boy, coming down to St Pat's College and uh, played some good footy at the Redan Football Club in St Pat's and gave him the opportunity, Sean, so... Looking forward to the opportunity now on Inside 60. Very much looking forward to it as well. Thanks to Blue Gum Clothing, Inside 60 for this week with Tom Morrish. Ah, uh, Tim. Ah, uh, in the midfield. Don't mind Robbie Gray. Own United Football Network Club. Uh, passionate. Flynn Appleby. Uh, don't mind a laugh with Scott Carlin. Josh Chatfield, he's just a pest, always punching you. Ah, uh, the senior premiership victory with Owen last year. Uh, Routon Roberts. Ah, uh, Derek Smith. Tom Morris inside 60, thanks to Blue Gum Clothing. Not too bad, not too bad, he's done all right, sure. He's given a couple of whack where he's needed to, but otherwise a fairly straight bat. Yeah, no, I think he plays a pretty straight bat most of the time, mm -hmm. sure. I think you might be right with that one. This weekend coming up, if you've got an old copy of the TAC Cup fixture, maybe chuck it out and throw it in the bin, because as you may have seen on our social media channels, the Round 18 fixture has been changed. And instead of going up to Melbourne, the Rebels are coming right here to Mars Stadium at 10.30am on Saturday, our last game for the season against the Bendigo Pioneers, Pardo, as part of another TAC Cup triple header. Sean, build it and they will come. That was a um, Field of Dreams, great movie, and uh, you know, success of Mars Stadium two weeks ago. The AFL clubs actually love Mars Stadium, behind the glass, high elevation to watch the games and uh, yeah, we've been rewarded with uh, a triple header, Sean, mm. but also the week after the first final, the yeah, first exactly. week of final. So uh, really good to have these Metro clubs up to uh, Mars time to sort of test, have a bit of a test run on Mars. And of course, the surface absolutely pristine at the moment as well. Even a few of the Cannons boys on the weekend said it was like playing on a carpet. And of course, a surface rated by the AFL is the best surface in the AFL not all that long ago. So. Big game for the Rebels, obviously it's 11 v 12 on the ladder and a real chance for the boys to go out with a win against the team that knocked us off earlier this season in Alfred and in a game that really probably went down to the wire. Yeah it did, good rivalry between the Benio and uh, the Ballarat boys, yeah. always has been but uh, yeah, looking forward to a really competitive game once again. They've got some really good players, the Benio Pioneers, they come back at school and they're yep. now playing for them. So. Our boys have been on their toes again, Sean. You know, the first round we played Vinnie, they were very good and very hard at the footy, and we have to do the same. We will indeed. Don't forget, 10.30am this Saturday here at Mars Stadium. The Rebels are playing September footy, but unfortunately that's going to be the extent of it with the results on the weekend. This will be the last time that you'll see the Rebels in 2017, Pardo. It's going to be a close final series, Sean. Sure. I really can't pick any particular team. It's going to be a favourite for the flag, and uh, yeah, looking forward to see how the three-week system goes. Mm. Uh, you know, one versus eight, knockout final, Sean. So, uh, yeah, it's it going to be an interesting uh, format. It's interesting to see that one as well with that change of format 1v8, 2v7, 3v6, 4v5. The finals in week one will be split between Victoria Park in Collingwood on the Saturday and here at Mars Stadium on the Sunday but we'll give you more information about that on our last show next Wednesday night. What we do need to talk about though Pardo of course is our Rebels presentation day Sunday the 8th of October. I finally got that date right after choking on it couple of times over the past couple of weeks. The Adam Goods Trophy, of course, rewarded, awarded on that day to the Rebels Best and Fairest Player. Get in now, book your tickets. All the information on the screen, only $40 includes your meal and soft drinks for the day. Two-course meal and your soft drinks on the day. It's going to be another great day, Carter. It is a really good day. It's a bit of time on the day. The boy have a bit of fun with that normal presentation day. So 
jump online, book your tickets as uh, early as possible to help us out some catering. Let's do that. All the information is on the screen at the moment. And that brings us to a close for another week here on Rebels TV. We'll do it one more time again for 2017 next week, Pardo. Pleasure having you joining us once Thanks again. Thanks, sure. Good to be here. And a pleasure having you join us once again here on Rebels TV. We'll see you next week, Wednesday, 6 p.m.